A welcome. This is the second episode. We're up to leaving the planet. Um, I'm not going to review or go over that Starfield game. It's getting bad reviews. I'm going to stick with No Man's Sky, which is an excellent game. And uh, the updates for No Man's Sky have been good. Uh, let's look at our equipment. Uh, normally, I would refine the rusted metal. Use X to place the tritium in the starship. Um, I'll put the microprocessor on the starship, the living slime, and actually for now, the rusted metal is, and the facium. None of those are of any use to me. And they're taking up, at the beginning of the game, your item slots are important. Okay, let's take off, as that's the next thing to do. W to take off. Left shift to get away from the planet fairly quickly. Use the mouse key to direct it. Four planets, two moons, that's pretty good. Conflict level, level is stable, so pirates will appear, but not as often as an unstable one. All right, W is the first thing they want you to do to test your um, ship. The diamond that just appeared on the screen, it's on the other side of the planet, is the space station. Use left shift, and then the space bar. Use space bar to stop it, so you don't waste too much fuel. Okay, X and F to answer the communicator. Identify yourself. I think you should anyway. Alert. Navigational data received. When you have an opportunity, I recommend you scan the planets. There's a paradise planet with starbo, copper, paraffinium, and silver. That is probably the best place to put your base. We were on a caustic planet. It has ancient bones. You can make good credits off of that. That's part of the monetary system. Fungal mold, copper, ammonia, sodium. Unfortunately, it's directing us back to the planet. Let, let's head for the space station first. The reason I go to the space station first is I'll be able to use the teleporter to get there and I can get another item slot. So I w the, if you could get on a paradise planet for your first, that is excellent because you don't need any hazardous material protection. You don't have much of a problem from Sentinel. And so you can gather your resources and build your base in relative peace at the beginning. I generally play the game where I don't fight very much. But in this playthrough, I'm going to try and do just about everything in the game. Uh, after a thousand hours of play, over a thousand hours of playing, and uh, getting all the Steam achievements. Okay, you can, under Discoveries, press F or the left mouse key to upload to get nanites. 
if you want to name stuff you on the discoveries before you upload it you'll need to name it once you upload it you can't do that on the options under network I am going to switch it to invite only um, base parts friends only friends only um, I'll let anyone see my ship marker for now edit base terrain um, only my friends now general has the audio settings oh he cancel um here the rename current save let's name it Theophilus post Post Voyagers. Because I did the Voyagers Expedition, which came after the Echoes update. If you change the difficulty settings, you may not be able to um, have people join your game. Let's see what kind of multi-tool is here while we're up here. Excellent. It's an A class with 30 slots. So we would like to have 5 million to get that. It's 4,600,000 is the cost. 4,600,000 is the cost. All right, now that we've been up at the space station, it will appear in our teleporter. Now let's go down to where the signal source is. to slow down and I recommend that you fly around slowly looking I do believe this would be where it's going to lead us this broken machinery here. so if you see broken machinery nearby land eat a land Three hundred eighty-five units away. Make sure you have some fuel in the starship. Twenty-five percent is adequate. Let's look again. All right. C. We'll pick up sodium and dihydrogen on the way. Shift will let you go a little quicker. All right, for some reason it won't let us get back. Okay, I didn't expect that. Notice there's a house there, a building. Let's head to the red and white symbol. Life support power. Remember the life support gel will give me a hundred percent on the um, life support. Decipher signal. 
The number 16 is thematic in the game. Um, for one thing, there are 16 glyphs, which you'll see later. Okay, it wants a base computer. It'll give you blueprints for a base computer and a terrain manipulator, which you, you need. So you need to do these quests at the beginning of the game and not have somebody come in and necessarily help you. Okay, so if you tab, go to the multi-tool and add the terrain manipulator. You'll need carbon nanotubes, two of them, and dihydrogen jelly. So you'll need to have carbon to make those. And the dihydrogen jelly will take dihydrogen, 40. Then you can install the terrain manipulator. And you can dig out there's a buried technology module near you. Notice when I go underground it says stabilizing. You'll need that salvage data for later to buy blueprints to build stuff. Also salvage data is worth 52,000 each. Alright, I want you to gather Oh, hold on. We can scan that. Oh. All right, missed it. Um, we need copper. The copper will allow you to get chromatic metal, which will allow you to make a base, which the game wants. I'm going to head towards this building, I think. Uh, well, no, there's copper there. Let's head to the copper. Use G to switch to terrain manipulator. not a building. Seven of seven species. In fact, so if you go to the catalog, uh, the discoveries, you can upload there. Go to Fauna, hold to register, that's 1,750 nanites for getting all the creatures on a planet, and I'll get a milestone. Discovered all species on one planet, naturalist. All right. Um, I'll put the portable refiner down as the computer wants. And it's going to want me to refine 60 copper to make um, chromatic metal. You'll need more chromatic metal. Don't be afraid to refine a little bit more than that. While it's doing that, X, left arrow, arrow up, and then left click with the mouse to land the ship. Now 
Now, if you look at the ship, I'm out of fuel because I had to call it. But the launch fuel puts it 100%. Now let's go in the ship while it's doing that and let our radiation go back up. All right, if you look at the log, it's awakenings and the objective is to establish and construct a base. You do not have to construct a base where you are or the planet you're on. In fact, we're not going to. We're gonna look at the planets and we're gonna pick one. Left shift, W to take off, left shift to go a little quicker. Hyperborean planet, frost crystal, copper, dioxide, sodium. I'm using dub. Sometimes you have to use the space bar to get away from another planet in order to use C to scan. Abandoned planet, copper, rusted metal, silver. Well, I'm excited to see ru rusted metal and silver in the solar system. Paradise moon, star bulb, copper, paraffinium, silver. So that's a paradise moon near a planet with rusted metal and the paradise moon has silver on it. I think I'm gonna to wanna to put the base on the, on the paradise moon. A, a moon will, should have less fauna and be easier to explore than a planet completely. scan the other moon. Terraforming catastrophe, copper, rusted metal, cobalt. Nice. Let's go to the paradise moon. We are going to put our first base on the Paradise Moon. Oh look, let's land at that space station. That will give us a free landing pad near our base. To start with, that would be a nice place to set up by. It's one of the resources you need in the beginning. interact with the base. And claim base. Now, before you interact, make sure you have a good amount of carbon because there'll be a storm, you'll need to build a building in the beginning.
I think 600 will be enough. When you extract plans, you'll get plans for building a building. Find a good area. It wants you to look, you could see, um, well, my, in my picture here is blocking that it wants a floor panel. Notice it's blinking on the wall. It wants a wall. Wants three of them. Uh, let's do this. Let's put another floor here. Let's put a roof as the storm is coming. Base computer online. Mm. You could do C to edit base parts. Let's move the wall here. I left clicked and then I left click again where I wanted. The reason is I don't have to use my jetpack to get it. Don't be afraid to look around periodically. Six of seven, we've already almost got a second group. Look for the red dot to see what needs to be scanned. Escape, discoveries. Let's name this planet um, Post, Post Voyagers. Paradise. And I'll upload it. Rare ground, always active. Interact with the computer. Okay, magnetized ferrite requires two pure ferrite. I use Z to get that, by the way. Uh, how many do we need? Construction unit requires 20, so we need 40 ferrite, which will make 40 pure ferrite using the mouse wheel. And then 40 pure ferrite goes to 20 magnetized ferrite. We'll need more car use more carbon on the nanotubes. Let's put the construction research unit right next to the base. The base is going to be out of the way of stuff, so 
the construction unit next to it will be after this. Now notice... You need buried technology to research stuff. Two for the base teleport module. One for the save beacon, that's three. One for the fuel reactor, that's four. Nothing for the electrical wiring. Three for the battery, that's seven. And eight for the solar panel. So that'd be 15, it'd be nice to get that. All right, what I'm going to do is wait out the storm and um, I'm gonna come back after I have walked around the planet and found at least 15 salvage data. You just, you look for these, these triangles, these upside down triangles. You go to them and use the terrain manipulator, point it at the upside down triangle and open it up and you'll uh, you saw me do it i think in another video and you'll see me do it again in some other video so thank you for watching and uh i'll see you back after i have the data thank you